As you make your way through the academic year and you start having to meet multiple deadlines, it is important to start thinking about how you're going to prepare for exams. In this video, we will discuss the basics of how to prepare yourself efficiently and effectively for your exams. One of the most important things to remember when thinking about preparing for exams is to make a schedule for yourself. This means all types of scheduling, such as keeping track of your due dates. For example, where and when your exams are taking place. It also means figuring out when you're the most productive and when you can focus best. Some people work best in the morning. Some are most productive in the afternoon period after lunch. And some people do their best work at night. It is also important to schedule spaced out study periods to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed or burned out. Check out some of our resources such as assignment calculators to learn more about pacing work. One of the ways that you can make sure you're studying in the way that suits you best is to test out different study methods. Some students find the Pomodoro method to be very useful as it gives you a specific set amount of time to study along with a set relaxation period so you don't have to worry about burning out your brain capacity too quickly. Check out our blog post linked below for more insight into this method. Another way to structure your study time is to use the ESS method. The acronym stands for early, small, and soon. The study method consists of breaking what you need to study into small sections, starting to work on those different sections as early as possible, and setting deadlines for finishing each segment so that you can work through all the material by a set date. Many students find testing themselves to be an excellent way to prepare for exams and learn their class content. One way to use the study method is by finding practice exams or previous exams for your class. So that way you can see what material from classwork was focused on in the past, which can give you a general idea of how exam questions will be structured. Another way to test yourself is to do the quiz and recall study method. With this method, you can write a list of questions based on your class material, write the answers, and then later work through the questions and test your knowledge as you go. The Cornell Notes method is a great way to take your notes for your class and to ensure your notes are easy to understand. If you want to learn more about the Cornell method and other note-taking methods, check out our note-taking toolkit linked below or our other resources on the Chaplin Learning Commons website. To enhance your studying, try to use your notes or combine the above methods to synthesize information, find similarities between problems, distill knowledge themes, etc. You could also try teaching someone else your class material, quizzing a friend, talking out loud to yourself, or even explaining your notes to another person, such as a parent or a pet. Teaching others, even if it's just your pet, has proven to have a very high learning retention and is an excellent last step in your preparation. We recommend testing out different study methods to see which one helps you learn your class material the best. Another important thing to remember when preparing for the exam season is to check whether or not you're eligible for accommodations and to make sure that those accommodations are confirmed for your exams. For example, if you look at your schedule and find that there is a conflict, or if you have more than two exams within a 24-hour window, you can reach out to Academic Advising to reschedule one of your exams in order to make it more manageable. It's also essential that you reach out to get your concessions or extensions far in advance, as these accommodations may not be granted if they're outside of the eligible time frame. Thank you for watching our Preparing for Exams video. If you want more information or more resources, be sure to check out our website, learningcommons.ubc.ca, and the rest of our Preparing for Exams toolkit.